Many Republicans say they will not support Donald Trump, the party's presumptive nominee for president. Past presidents, George H.W. Bush, George W. Bush, they say they will not endorse him. George W.'s brother, Jeff, Jeb, says that he won't vote for Trump because he is, quote, has not displayed a respect for the Constitution, and he is not a consistent conservative. He also cleaned Jeb's clock in the primary, so take that for what it's worth. <laughs> Former U.S. Senator Norm Coleman from Minnesota said this about Trump, that he is, quote, a bigot, a misogynist, a fraud, and a bully, and that he could never vote for him. This is such an interesting election in the way that we haven't seen this before. Normally, once we get to this point, I mean, sure, there will be people against each other, but generally people unite behind this party. But Matt, right. we're not seeing that in this case, even though Donald Trump, he got more votes in this Republican primary than anyone in the history. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. Normally, at this point, people that wouldn't have supported the leading candidate might say, well, he wasn't my first choice, but I'm going to back the uh, party, make sure we get a Republican in the White House. However, this time around, there's been such a strong never-Trump coalition kind of on both sides. Now, Trump certainly has his supporters, and they're very passionate. You saw that in the numbers coming out to the polls. However, you have religious conservatives, social conservatives, that don't think that Trump values religion enough, and they're not going to vote for him. And then you have more left-leaning uh, Republicans who think that Trump isn't a real or who think that Trump is a little bit too extreme in some of his statements, keeping a whole religion out of the country, that sort of thing, building a wall. So you've kind of got both ends of the Republican Party against this guy. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to bring everybody together. Ellie, I do wonder if his vice presidential pick will actually make a difference for people who maybe say, like, okay, he's not conservative enough, he's too much in this direction. Could that pick be enough to kind of turn things around and bring some of the voters who are saying never Trump say, okay, we're going to get behind this party now? I talked to a friend who was Norm Col Coleman's former mm -hmm. press secretary, and he is anti-Trump, but now he doesn't really have a choice if he wants to vote for a Republican, and I think that will make a difference if, let's say, Trump has been talking to Rubio right now. You wonder if Rubio, for a chance, does become mm -hmm. his vice presidential pick, then will Jeb Bush get behind him? Because Rubio is from Florida. I think that's a question that a lot of people are asking. And then there are a lot of people saying, well, the Obamas aren't necessarily Clinton supporters. The Clintons aren't necessarily Obama supporters, but the bottom line is they're going to help each other out. No one cares what Jeb Bush says or what any of the Bushes say. If people cared, Jeb Bush would have won. No one cares what Mitt Romney says. In fact, the more these establishment people come out and say, my, my knickers are in a bunch, I cannot imagine voting. For, like, anyone cares what Norm Coleman has to say right now? I mean, I really believe that is these... Uh, uh, these leaders Who are, are out of up, touch yeah. with what the voters are saying. And whether the leaders are right or the voters are right, I don't know. But all I know is that people have voted for Trump. And if you're a Republican, what are you going to do? Yeah. You know, vote for Hillary because you're mad? Vote for a Libertarian? Vote for a third party candidate? Yeah, and just kill the Maybe not vote. Nah, when you get in the booth, you'll mm -hmm. vote. Maybe you don't go to the booth. I would love to be in a, like not. a political science class right now. I just think it'd be it, this it's would be so much fun yeah. to study. Because no one knows. Yeah. No one knows. Six months. We'll find out in six months. <laughs> there we go.